Well, hello, adventurers. Yes, stealing that from my last re review. Hi, right, guys. It's Half Dude. I'm gonna do a kind of a more relaxed uh, let's play for this one because it's that kind of game. Welcome to Abduction. Now, this this is a Cyan Worlds game. Uh, you might know them from the Mist series. You know, Mist, Riven, Exile, Uru. I have been a big fan of this series since I was a kid. I should probably thank my dad for that. I remember he bought me Riven and I was obsessed with it for years. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Scion stopped making games, uh, but uh, and they actually sold the Mist franchise, I think, so they legally can't make any more Mist games, uh, from what I understand. But they uh, made this, and it's supposed to be very Mist-like puzzle game. And it was actually kickstarted, so that's very cool. Very cool thing for Kickstarter. I uh, have no idea how well this game is going to run. It should run decently, but it looks like it's pretty impressive. The graphics are pretty impressive, so I guess we'll see. I have no idea how well this is going to go. Being a puzzle game, I guess I'll just quit if I can't. F I'll stop recording if I can't figure something out and come back when I figure it out or whatever. But the first episode should be pretty easy. We'll just be exploring and looking at stuff and say, hmm, huh interesting you know so uh, so let's go let's go free roam half dudes game play all right I am excited oh well that's that it I'm already in well I'm already in okay it's not even an intro. Very mist-like. Alright. Yeah, things seem okay so far. It's just like mist, you're just plopped somewhere and you have no we idea. We all lost everything. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. I was three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you. Damn, you tell it like it was yesterday, but it's been 62 years since you saw that blast of light. So I must be camping, I guess, and I'm gonna get abducted, hence the name. Other than Uru, this is one of the first, uh... Right. That's where all of our new stories began. Streaked across the sky. Mesmerizing, but unnerving. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil, or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Vera, you said you recall smiling. Some of you were alone, I wasn't. My dear grandma, God bless her, rejoiced as if some forebearer of good fortune. Grandma lifted me from the carriage on the porch and into the yard so we could watch it unobstructed. A really creepy, weird filter over her voice. Sounds all roboticized. Ooh. I kept standing there. I, I thought that sun was going to happen. I didn't know I was supposed to walk. Take a guess that this is the Unity engine. I do know the Unity engine can look pretty good if it's done decently. I must be in Washington. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. And we all felt 
was some kind of trepidation, yet attraction. Approached it. Trepidation, dude. Nice tree physics. I can't move. I can't you move. Remember, there was no turning away. It advanced. Whoa. Almost like it's a pine cone. Purposefully spinning slowly until, well, found us, each of us. We should tell these stories because well, it, it saved us and. Whoa. I got atomized. So I'm in the forest, but I'm cocooned inside a giant rock shell, it looks like. And here's the alien thing. It looks like it's made out of leaf, but something came out of it, because that sphere is open. Now let me uh, wash my glasses real quick. <clears throat> Quiet. Oh, God, my glasses are filthy. So I guess those are, uh, I'm assuming those are like uh, people that have been abducted. What we're hearing is there's that lady is talking about her and other la people that have been abducted by these aliens. I guess they're aliens. I'm going to have to assume they're aliens till I know more. And it's like, you know, like on, on Unsolved Mysteries or something where people are saying, oh, yeah, they, cut, they abducted me and they did stuff to me and brought me back. And so maybe that's some sort of old, old like, government... Uh, tapes or something of their interviews when they came back or something. I don't know. I don't know why I'm hearing it, though. Look, I pick it up. Very cool. Nice lantern. It's got a nice little scuff on it. So let's see the controls. Because it, it, it's weird. It, it gets, gets closer and then it doesn't. I don't know if it's I'm assuming maybe I'm looking for something on these things, like a, a clue or something. Can I? Oh, I can. <laughs> wow, that's neat. Oh, yeah, I'm getting the mist vibes already. So if I get a little circle within my circle and now I can interact. Alright. Now let's see what's out here. Oh, I better keep track of the time. Okay, it's 10.50. So, I'm in some red rock caverns somehow. Nice sand. <laughs> Trippy. Well, the game wasn't running too good at first in the first level, but it seems to be running pretty good now. It's mostly when the thunder, the lightning went off, it's like I'd get a hitch. But it seems okay now. And that has some freaking nice rock texture. Ooh. I just saw a flying ant, I think. You see that? I'm not alone. There's a big ass planet up there. And a floating plant, a little piece of thing there. I 
Now the mist games would have other people in the games sometimes, but not very often. So I don't know how many people it'll be. Whoa. Shiny metal things. Okay, well this is weird. This is weird. I'm making an observation. You got weird alien technology here, but then down here, you've got a car battery. Is that like a VHS player? VHS tape player right there? And some some uh, speakers, and they're inside a wheel rim. So it's people made and alien made. Welcome to Hunrath. Hello. Bonjour. Oh. Ciao. Hola. Hello. Shora. Ni hao. Welcome to Hunrad. My name is Yosef. I am the mayor here. You are most probably a bit confused and disoriented. Yep. But let me reassure you, everything will be fine. You're not the first to go through this experience. The others who have come before you will help you adjust. Follow the trail to the house with the white picket fence. Fali will meet you there and introduce you to your new life here. Well, I didn't choose to come here. I feel like that choice has kind of been made for me. But who knows, maybe this place will be awesome and I'll be glad I'm here. I don't know. Oh, someone's greeting me. I guess there will be people. Mostly the old Mist games didn't have people, I think, more as a limitation to the game engine. Because it was literally, they weren't 3D back then, they were just, uh, they're, they're computer-generated snapshots that you just, like, click and then you move to the next snapshot, click, and it was basically a slideshow, but it gave the illusion that you are moving around this place. So whenever they wanted to have a person in there, it'd basically have to be, like, one scene with a video of a person overlaid and it's just kind of difficult so there's the house we have some trains this games do love their train rides now well, they said go to the house so I guess we'll do what they said got some gizmo over there we got a weird laser thing over there and there's another ant so it's weird it's like uh this looks like I don't know like New Mexico or somewhere in the south it's got cactuses and it's like a it's a that the red the red uh, rocks and stuff but it's in the middle of this uh, alien place so it's it's weird. And it's got the alien stuff mixed with the human stuff, and they got this thing where it's like it's like the frickin' Rick and Morty house where they just got eaten up and taken somewhere else. So it's like they're just taking sections of places and just plopping them in here. And it's like their their own little uh, gallery of other alien places. Can't go in the sewer. Probably a good thing. There's something on the roof up there. Farley. Anything in the mailbox? Oh, there is. To Caroline or whoever else might come back. It has been five days, and not a soul has returned. I am inclined to believe that things have not gone well. Yes, surprisingly, I am still alive, and that both supremely perplexes me and gives me some portion of hope. I have retreated to my vault for protection and to contemplate my options. C.W. Hmm. All right. Yeah, another one of these things. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Farley. 
because if you're seeing this, then I wasn't even... Just in case. Um, welcome. Uh, it's probably not safe here. To be blunt, we're getting ready for a battle. 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 Find. I just thought I should. Um, just be cautious. With who you trust, CW may be here. I don't know. Um, just be careful. I got to go. See you soon. And don't panic. As jarring as this experience is, you really will find how to have to be a decent place. Decent. Well, that's weird, because it looks like she had an original greeting and then she recorded another new section into the middle where things aren't as nice. Okay, well, I need to not trust people, apparently. Ah, uh, no, no. I can't walk, walk through them and have, have felt physics. That sucks. Okay. Uh, let me just look over here, because this looks like it might be something. And it's nothing. Okay. Let me try something real quick. They have a uh, one thing. I wish I could make things louder. It's kind of quiet. Um, here, I turned this way up because I didn't know really know what it is. Let me see if I turn these down a little. Does that help at all? Uh, not really. <laughs> oh well, maybe a little bit. It does just play the same thing, right? Fanfare. Yes, it does. I gotta lay a little wash basin. Some stuff over there. Okay, let's go in the house. Let's go in the house. If I can. That's the thing of these mist games, you never know. Even the most straightforward things can be a little difficult to do. Warning, do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram unless it has been disabled. Okay, so if it looks like a technoid rock thing, don't approach it. Yep, see I told you, it's locked. I thought that'd be too easy. Well, I wonder if there's a spare key hidden under something. You know, like people usually do at houses. That might be a little wishful thinking. Uh, house is literally eaten up in the rock. Okay, well, we're not getting in the house. We might as well uh, look around see where else we can get to. Bunch of rubble. Oh, we got some graves. That's pleasant. Can't quite read that one. Anna Jackson and McCarthy Hartnell. Huh. Interesting. So the picture I'm getting is that I guess there's people that get abducted. Oh. There's people that get abducted and they just kind of live here now. And they welcome new people. Whoa, jeez. Sarah Hartnell, Benjamin Sims, and another name I can't read. Let's see what's up here. More graves. Carl Hundreth, John Farley. Oh yeah, by the way, it says we take pictures, which kind of helps with notes, I guess. Let's see if I can take one. Alright, that's cool. How do I access them? Maybe it'll tell me later. <laughs> so I got some really 
We got old looking ones and then we got new ones like put on top. So I mean it's just showing that there's a lot of generations. That's weird looking. Now what is that? Can't really get up there. Cause that's kinda just a wall. The, my vision gets weird over here. Is there like a I think there's a force field or something on here keeping me from going in. Yep. So I can't go out there. <laughs> That's weird. It just abruptly changes to a totally different biome. So yeah, that's the picture, that's the kind of the, the image I'm getting is that I'm kind of just like in a zoo, a zoo exhibit. You know how in the zoos they always have the pins kind of made up like the natural environment the thing is in, like lives in? That's what I'm feeling like now. It's kind of spooky. Well, let's see what's in the mine. Nice echo. Yeah, I heard a frog, so we got some human animals here at least. And another place we can't go. I wonder if we'll ever get to go out there, because it doesn't really look like a place that there's anything out there. Oh god, that frame drop hurts my head. I don't know guys, I'm starting to get the impression I'm going to have to upgrade my computer again soon. Sucks. I can flip the track. That's cool, you can actually see the tracks change when you do it. Alright, well, I guess we, don't, we might as well have it switched to use this track, because that track goes nowhere. So, that makes sense to me. I guess you can follow the track. I'm no stranger to missed track pl puzzles. Kind of making me think of the channel wood uh, water puzzle too. Well, this is blocked, but something could push it out of the way. Ooh, you see the rocks? They're wigging out. They're all jiggly. What that's all about. Is anything real? Okay, and that's where I came from, so let's see what's up here. <sighs> it's kinda the thing with a mist game is uh you kinda go everywhere some most times and still not know what to do because everywhere ends in a dead end. <laughs> Believe me, I am intimidated. Because if you guys haven't played Riven, oh my god. That game will bite your balls off. I think I played my... I probably spent my whole childhood just, try, just trying to beat that game. <laughs> it, was a, it was an adventure. It was quite an adventure. Part of me kind of wants to do a Let's Play at Riven, but considering I've already played it, I don't think you guys are going to be interested in me just doing like a walkthrough where I already know what I'm doing. Doesn't seem very interesting. Ooh, that was a Riven sound effect on that doorway. So we got another mine entrance that's blocked, it looks like. Oh, 
by jiggly rocks. I'm assuming those aren't real rocks. <laughs> They must be uh, solid still, or else I'd be able to go through them. Kind of curious how much like stuff we need need to pick up or collect is actually just strewn on the ground because there's so much open space. That'd be pretty challenging. I got the end of a track here. Okay. So how are you guys doing? You guys having a nice uh, New Year's? This is my New Year's. Sitting at home by myself. Yep. That's most of my days. <laughs> because no one seems to want to be my friend. Not really sure why. But, oh well, I guess that's the, uh... Plight of people that don't like people. That's kind of a vicious, self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh well. <laughs> Let's not make everything depressing. <clears throat> Let's uh, see what's over here, because it looks like there's a bunch of junk over here. Okay, this is weird. Wouldn't even work. Does it do anything? Oh, it does. It does do something. Okay. I got a feeling we're going to have to bring something over here and then switch it and then bring it down there. So, that makes sense. But this is weird. Because this looks like a Wild West town. Kind of adding to my idea about that they've been doing this for a long time. Because those old. Yeah, those old uh, grainy tombstones I couldn't read. They kind of look like something that would be like, oh, from this era. So that's my working idea, is that this is genuine oldness. Potatoes. Potatoes. And a Coke. You got that same sign warning about the technoid rock. that thing <laughs> see what I meant I would be doing a bunch of ooh ah ooh that's like a frisbee Machine to talk to over here, I see. Ooh. Cool. So I'm playing solitaire because there's nothing else to do. Open this up? No. I should probably check to make sure I can't open these up. Because there's usually tons of stuff and shelves in the other games. And 
pictures of a dog. Canteen, some boxes. There's that weird rock again. Okay, that's where I couldn't get through right there. Okay. Shovel, pickaxe. Okay, nothing in here, it looks like. It looks like. Okay, let's see what this says. It says nothing. Well, that's weird. You're totally useless. <laughs> Warning. Whoa. The hell? They always do that? I guess they do. Hey. I got pottery wheel. Another warning. That is, what game is that? I forget. <laughs> that game. There, Cortnell Mining Co. Let's go this way. Curious how big this world is. I think that might be the edge down there. Not sure. Got some weird thing here. Another mine entrance. Ooh, rusty. in here. I have a feeling this is going to go back to that main hub that's all blocked up. I think they crisscross. Yep. So I don't know what that is. that lasers coming from some gun over there another gun is shooting this thing does that, does that hurt nope okay that's good to know it's just kind of sitting there being an asshole Let's save this whole area for later. I want to see a little bit more over here. They've got a, a meager little farm going on. Let's not have very many people here if this is all the food they need. Got the courage, the cowardly dog windmill going on. That is cute. And another end, except they've got a thing here for dumping water or something. That might be important. Some kind of track leading over to there. I saw their stairs back here. Where does this go? There's the uh, water tower. Okay, so there are there are tracks that go over there. Okay. All right, climb on the roof. Is this 
can help us. So crane. What does this say? Do you say something? The tree. This is the tree. It has been here in Hunrad for as long as anyone can remember. Hmm. Its health is intimately tied to everything in our little greenhouse. Our cell we live in. Greenhouse. Our ecosystem. It has provided many surprises over the years, including some interesting seeds that you will learn more about. Many have postulated, yet we really know very little about its origins. But we do know it should be cherished and protected. Huh. So it's like the alien giving tree or something. Alright, so now I know what this little ecosystems call it's called the cell I think is what he called it he gave it two names I forget what the first name was already I'll just call it the cell all right let's see what's back here is this where the tree is whenever I think about a tree that gives everything to the society I keep thinking of a I should think of Avatar. <laughs> that little magic tree. Of course it's locked. Scratched up hinges. Got some fans. A little hole. Some kind of gizmo down there in the floor. And a gate. Oh, there's the tree. Okay. Yep, just looks like a tree. Very mysterious. I don't know what this wall is. Yeah, it circles back to the water tower. Some of you youngsters that didn't play Mist or Riven, you probably wondering why this game hasn't told me what to do yet. Well, that's kind of how these games were. I mean, Mist was fa Mist was famous for that. For the fact that you just had a short little intro with some guy talking, you didn't know who he was, and a book falling through a void, and then just you click on the book and boom, you're in a place you have no idea why you're there, who you are, or what you're trying to do. It's kind of their thing. Alright, well, I can't do anything to the water tower unless I get up there. It seems like a switch or something. A lever. But I gotta get up onto the tracks to get up there. And I can't cross on this side because it's broken, of course. So that'll have to be over in a laser shooty place. Okay. And okay, and that weird dome thing is in that wall over there that's locked. Okay, so that's everything here, I think. Still saving this area for last because I think it's probably the most important right now. I just got that feeling. Anything with lasers means importance. That's uh, Uncle Ian's. Uh, Uncle Ian's tip of the day. Okay. Another collapsed mine. I feel people don't take very good care of their mines here. I guess maybe they could have collapsed when this little section of the planet got zapped up or whatever. The waterfall. Part of our ecosystem here is our supply of water. It is supplied as a natural process of the system itself, and we don't really understand how. Although, the entire system is very closely tied together. 
The fact that one of the most important necessities of life has been provided to us has led many to believe that this place has a purpose. Yeah. Others attribute a complex natural process which we one day hope to understand. Either way, we are glad to have all the water we need. As far as you know. Alright. Well, I'm kind of in the uh, former group myself. I think it's some aliens that are just keeping us as some sort of experimenter. Or like, I like the wet, wet rocks. Ah oh, yeah, and the mist guy is always afraid to go in water. <laughs> okay, well water is always an important thing in mist games. They usually are used to power things or move things. They usually use as a power source. And okay, they used a airplane propeller as a door. What's this do? Okay, it lifts that thing. See that thing over the propeller getting lifted up? Okay, so the propeller is mounted on a tube, goes into the ground. Huh. These look like, uh, yeah, these are like CV joints from a car. So, I think this is a door. Maybe? Yeah, I think this turns, because this isn't attached here. Oh, and the scrape marks, of course. I think this whole thing turns, but it needs power or something. I don't know why this detaches up here. So there's a walkway, so there might be something up there I need to mess with. Okay. Let me guess, this is locked too? So far, so missed. Bunch of things that don't work. Bunch of locked doors. I can't keep it open because it pops back as soon as it does it. So, all right, let's go check out the laser place. Fucking aliens. So I was just trying to have a good camping trip and now I'm sucked into a whimsical world against my will. This does look like some sort of power plant or something. Ooh, we got spooky music. Red button. Doesn't do anything. Mm, bunch of water. Nice. All right. Got more tracks. Okay, that that must be the thing that rides on the tracks up there. We gotta find find a way to put it down here. But the only way up there is behind the door with the red button that I can't open. <laughs> okay. I wonder if these are some sort of power supply or something. That th thing looks like it's using the same technology as those holograms. I do have a notepad with me, by the way, if I need to write down any codes or anything. Ooh. It's a vault tech door. That's interesting. 
And some spooky noises coming out of it, too. Something breathing in there. I got some sort of computer thing taped to it. Is that a button? It is a button. But it doesn't do anything. G garbled. Whoa, hello. You a Wild West guy? Bad time to be arriving here. You should have listened to me. I'm going home. Maybe it's a good timing for you. You might have spent a lot less time in this prison than the rest of us has. Alrighty, maybe it's a good timing for me. No more waiting around. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we've got a sci-fi cowboy behind this big old vault door. And he explained that all the doors and things are turned off because they're getting ready for some battle. And he wants me to get the power going. That's usually the first goal. God, this game sure is quiet, though. I can't make it any freaking louder. And I don't think my headphones have any sort of thing for volume on them. Oh, they do. Oh, well, cool. <laughs> I had a volume slider on here the whole time. I didn't even know. Hopefully I don't blast my ears off now. Damn, I'm a dumbass. All right, well, there is a wi uh, water mill. That's as good a place as any to get some power. Please work. Please work. Yes. Okay. Something's working. <laughs> water-powered elevator. Alright, well that's a good first step. And I haven't forgotten what that one lady said. Be careful who you trust. So there's a chance Mr. Cowboy Guy might be another Sears or Agonar, and I shouldn't totally trust him. And here's, this is the place that that minecart is in. Can I get in here? Uh, of course not. Nice painted door though. Got several train cars up here. That's... I guess that's just an auxiliary water mill. There might be a bigger one up the stream here. Nice little view. I wonder if old Atris himself, Rand Miller, will make an appearance as one of the people in this game. That would be cool. I always liked him. Yeah, let's go upstream. That seems like the most probable place to get power would be on the stream. Ooh, is this some sort of dam? Looks like it. Uh, what's this doing? Alright, so yeah. Okay, so there should be a waterfall here. And it's closed off. And if we get some water flowing, we might be able to get that door open, and... Yeah. Luckily, this is a 
easy, simple device, so this should work. Is there anything up here? No. Here, I hate to do this real quick, but let me... I just want to see if I turn everything down. I want to make sure that it's the game and not my computer. And let's go ahead and turn the shadows down. Shadows always kill a game. And maybe that. Luckily, this is one of those games that you can change the things and doesn't. Whoa. Why does everything look weird? Okay. Well, it does run a little bit better, but it looks like crap. I don't know why the anti-aliasing messes that up. If you just turn it to high, that's weird. Okay. What about the turn the view distance a little bit? Far. Yeah, far is fine. Oh, okay. So that's like how much texture memory is allowed to be used, I guess. I'm sorry, guys. I probably shouldn't be messing with this while I'm recording, but if I turn that all the way up, that's what makes it run like crap, right? Huh? Not really. So it's resolution scale. That's the thing that's, that's the thing that kills you. Because if you bring it all the way up, yeah, I'm not really sure what that is exactly. It just seems to be an overall sharpness sort of thing. So just got to find a good balance. Where it doesn't look too shitty. It's not too bad. I don't think I need any anti-aliasing though, because I got anti-aliasing turned on on my uh, on my uh, Nvidia control panel. All right, one time, one more time, then I'll stop messing with it. Let's do 75. All right, that's not bad. All right, let's do this. Achievement locked. Let it flow. Alright, so we got some water flowing now. Yeah, I need to get myself a better video card. I'm, after I quit this episode, I'm, I'll mess around with the settings, see if I can get a good balance. I find myself a, gu a guide online for what hurts you on performance and what doesn't, so it's just an ending, right? Yeah. yeah something out there. Alright. I hate when a game is like that, though, when they have, like, one... Oh. oh okay. So this lowers the water level, so this isn't going to operate if that's open. So I'm going to have to find another way down. But yeah, like I said, I hate when games have like one option that like it really makes the game look good or bad, but also has a huge impact on performance. So you got to like tweak it every little bit just to find a perfect little spot. I rather have a bunch of tiny little things that I can switch on and off rather than just one big one. And I've got a feeling that that's what that resolution scale is. Oh, I didn't even see the stairs down here. So I guess I'm not trapped up here. 
I got a feeling keeping that elevator stuck up there is going to bite me in the butt, though. It's just a feeling. Is there anything to do on this thing? No. Well, maybe I am stuck up here. Oh, but you know, I bet it still goes down. It's not going to need power to go down. It's just going to use gravity. But that means I won't be able to get back up here until I open those other doors. Yeah. All right, let's talk to Mr. Cowboy. Cause I think I got the power going. Actually, before I talk to him, let's uh, let's go try the airplane propeller. See if we can make that do anything now. Wow! When you have the resolution scale turned down, it looks like everything's smeared with Vaseline. It's far away, I mean. Alright, so let's try this now. Oh, still nothing. More I gotta do. Alright, let's talk to the cowboy. Yeah, I can actually hear him now. Anything over here, by the way? Nope. Oh, there's a doorbell on there. I didn't even hear that before. Sound was so. Okay, what's a carfin? What the hell is a carfin? Or is that just cowboy slang for, like, effin'? <laughs> I think the guy would tell me a little bit more about what I need to do, considering I just got here, and I have no idea. Alright, okay. So I got a waterfall. I got a waterfall. Oh, I can crank this by hand. Ah, okay. So I can switch which way I want the water to go. I guess I can't see what's on the other side. Can I, does this lever do anything when I have one of them up? Oh. Huh. Would that have opened all along if I just messed with this? Huh. Alright, well. I have more place to explore at least. Weird. And we got a lovely little woods to go into. A Vaseline woods. Oh, 
that's nice. Nice little sitting spot. <laughs> yep, got got to have your butterflies. Just like Mist Island. God, I got to turn the resolution scale back up. When I'm in the natural environment like that, I really freaking tell that yes. turn most things back to high and see what that does for us yeah at least things don't look like crap now. And someone's going skinny dimpin', dipping. Got a camp stove. poles. I did see this. We can go up here. Let's see what's up here. Recognize that, right? That's that weird round rock that's in the mines. It must have shot out and shot into the rock over there, into, into the mountain over there. It, it popped. At least that's what I'm thinking. That is a very recognizable texture. Ooh, oh, motorcycle. Homemade motorcycle. What the hell are they doing here? Train wheels? So they, they turn something around? I can't get on it though. Weird. I got power cables. Ooh. Ah, of course. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> the hell is that thing? <laughs> Behold our spinning dome. Our spinning sphere. It'd be kind of funny if one of these strange things in this world didn't really have a purpose, like it wasn't a puzzle, but it's just like something they built because they're bored. <laughs> like, this is just something they do when they want to drive a motorcycle around circles. They just attached it to a giant round weight and spin around and around and around. Ooh, it's a train. I only know where they got the train wheel from now. Oh, and here's something relating to power. 
Oh, that doesn't look like it's up to OSHA codes at all. Let's see, a sphere. That must be the thing. Uh, garage. Scrap. This looks like scrap, maybe. Tower. Town. CW. Farley. Oh, these are little lights, so this must tell you what things have power. I would guess. I'm not sure what this is saying. I I don't know or, what orientation this is. So I don't know which way this is pointing. Tower. Uh, there's nothing that says house. Town might just mean the old west town, so so that way. So if that if that's that way. And this is me, then it could be telling me just to go over to this place here. I might, maybe this is the is the wire. The red thing's the wire. I hope there aren't any cars in that scrapyard. That'll make me sad. Some old country western gas station. Oh, there's a phone booth. I'll just call Earth. Rodeo fuel. This looks like it got zapped up in like the frickin' 50s or 40s. this doing is this huh I should probably see where that's going before I s start cranking on it too much Ooh, is that a robot there's the gas So this might be a uh, Erickson Riggsville. I have no idea where that is. If I knew the south, southwest or something, maybe I'd know where that is. Can I use the telephone? Nope, because there's no phone. <laughs> oh, I can dial it though. So now, now I'm guessing this is probably going to open a secret door or something. It's probably some code. Or it could just be something to mess with. Who knows? <laughs> you got to suspect everything in these games. Alright, let's see if we can go in the gas station. Oh, there's no door. Okay, well, I guess we can't. That sucks. I wanted to see the robot. Well, where does this gas pump go to? Modern looking graffiti. Giraffe. Now this world is pretty freaking big. <laughs> okay, it's going to the train engine. So I'm assuming this is probably being used as a generator. They, they must have rewired the engine to generate power. And it's going to power up the town. But I. Oh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> that's the channel wood water pump switch right there at the Y, where you select which way the water's gonna go. <laughs> oh man! 
So, well, that's a cool little Easter egg for Mist fans. <laughs> oh, that's fuel drain. Okay. Okay, so all that fuel I was pumping in is just draining right back out. So let's go ahead and switch it so it's going to the engine. And we'll go ahead and fill this engine on. Turn it on. Turn her on. It looks like there's something hidden over here. There sure is. I gotta prime it. Gotta fill it up and prime the engine. See, they're hoping you didn't notice this. <laughs> Alright, so let's pump some gas into this baby. Not sure how long I gotta pump it for. I guess we'll just... Maybe it'll ding when it's full. Yep, it just I think it just stopped. Whoa, stop, stop, stop! What are you doing? Okay, so it just goes on its own, I guess. Alright, let's see how full she is now. You actually hear the the fluids going through the tube. Let's check in these real quick. Uh, this must be where they keep all the extra gas. And there's a dude. Don't know if that's important. Wonder what they plan to do when they run out of gas. <laughs> they just don't have power. pretty sure we're gonna be able to get that motor going I just want to explore this last little bit here got some paint if you're feeling creative a sitting spot this building was just cut in half at a, at a perfect circle must have been like the teleporter teleporter orbed orb cut off a piece of it when it just cut it out kind of like the terminator time portal you know it's like a circle it's like and it cuts a circular thing all right so we got some some like buoys and some sort of tower with some wires going into the sky maybe they're hooking into the big old like force field or something painting so. well, here actually so we have to end the video here pretty quick so let's see if we can get the motor going that'll be a good the generator going see if that'll be a good uh, little ending spot is she full she is full okay on might be the fuel pump maybe prime the engine oh, let's just leave it okay get the carb bowl nice and full all right let's try her out Baby, ah, I can't move this now. Let's just double check, make sure we got power. Looks like it. Yep, except to the town because it's a puzzle or the garage or the ramp, but still. All right, we got power. <laughs> That was cool. Alright, well, I'll go ahead and 
finish this this level here or finish this video here and i'll see you next time in abduction see you guys Bye bye